Happy, happy, happy Wednesday. What's up, group? Just wanted to jump in here real quick. Talk to you guys a little bit. I've been uh, been doing a lot of Zooms lately with a lot of the students. Um, hey, Joyce, how you doing? So I've been doing a lot of a, a lot of Zooms lately with a lot of the students. Uh, a lot of a lot of a lot of you have been going through. What I've noticed is is that you're getting in your own way. You're stopping yourself from moving forward. You're stopping yourself from completing your goals and all that kind of stuff. And you guys do that. I don't know if you guys understand this or not, um, but I'm about to explain it to you because I feel like this is going to help not just one person. I've done this multiple times over. I even had a student, a good friend of mine, reach out and we were talking a little bit about depression, right? And um, what what does depression come from? What does what stops us from reaching our goals? What stops us from staying motivated and moving forward and staying on a positive note? And guys, what that is, is, is that's a story. So let me go back and, and break down our brain for you real quick. So the way that our brain works is we're constantly telling ourselves a story. We're constantly, our brain is constantly going. Let's, for instance, um, you know, Calvin lands a customer and I'm sitting here and I'm going, um, how did he get that customer? What happened? Hey, oh my God, that's going to be, and I can either build a big possibility with that customer and go, man, that's an amazing customer, CBD customer, the $20,000 a month customer. And I can push those desires or I can just do the exact opposite. And I can go, Calvin, that's a complete waste of time. That guy doesn't have money. He doesn't have anything going on. Da, da, da. And so as you can tell, that's just a story. Now, what is reality? Reality is an actual fact, right? So the fact is, is the guy said he'll pay 10 grand for a CBD company. He said that he has money to pay for SEO. He says that he has everything ready. Those are all facts, okay? And what we do is we create this story and what we do with our story is we either create possibilities or we drown it out and we, we become depressed or negative about it. And so it's really on us. So what I wanted to make this about is to get out of our own way and to get, or get out of our story and get out of our own way. Because once you realize that your brain is doing this, you're able to control it a lot better, okay? And what does that mean for you? Well, really think about it. Um, Joyce, I'm really happy for you. I, I know what, you, what you're going through, but I, I want to talk a little bit about Joyce. Joyce was in another group that is similar to our group a little bit. It did, did, SC, or it did uh, lead gen and a few other things. She was in that group for two years, right? And she came into our group and within a month, she's already landing customers or a month and a half. She's already landing customer. And how is she doing that? Well, she got out of her own way. She stopped telling herself the story of Joyce, you can't do this. Joyce, you're not good enough. Joyce, you don't know what you're doing. She got out of that aspect and was able to come over and stop telling the story and look at the actual facts. She has people around her day in and day out that are creating possibilities, landing clients, making more money. And once she's seen those possibilities, she believed in those possibilities and she created those possibilities. And so just by getting out of your own mind or getting out of those stories that we tell ourselves, we're able to create new possibilities, grow and scale and stay positive and stay out of that depression state because depression is just a state. You control it with each and every thought that runs through you. Um, I think it's a little bit easier to do this on a whiteboard. So I'm gonna pull up a whiteboard that's really messy and we'll go from there. Calvin, I hope you took a snapshot of that before I erased it. <laughs> this is my brain dump for you. Uh, let me see what we got. So I got to bend down a little bit here, guys, so you guys can see this whiteboard. But like really think about it, okay? So let's say that you're getting ready. Um, let's say that you're getting ready, right? And, and you're getting ready to go land a sale or anything like that. What's the first thing that you do? Well, for most people, the first thing you do is you think about all the negative things that are going on, right? So here, here we are. I'm going to split this board. And this is 
our story, and this is facts. Okay? So we have to be able to really understand or see things for what they are. By seeing things for what they really are, that's how we're able to overcome all the bullshit and to make possibilities, to make things happen, right? So let's really think about this. And I can't, let me see if I can back this up a little bit. Can you guys see this okay? Give me a thumbs up, somebody, if you can see that okay. I know my head's cutting out a little bit. But story and fact. So I'm going to go back to the story of landing a customer. For instance, we go out, we reach out to a customer on the phone, right? And we say, hey, man, uh, just, just wanted to make sure that you've watched this screencast. Don't want to waste any more of your time or mine. I'm going to shoot a screencast. I'm going to shoot it to your email. Shoot that over to their email. Then we follow up and say, hey, did you watch the video? Boom, boom, boom. And they say, yeah, watch the video. It's amazing. When, when's a good time to meet so we can talk about price? And so that's where we're at. So here's the facts. Fact is, uh, we cold called the screencast. So we cold called. We got a yes. Okay? So we cold called. We got a yes. That's a fact. That's what happened. Okay? Then we followed up. And we got another yes. Hey, when's a good time to meet? I watched your screencast. It's amazing. When's a good time to meet? That's where we're at right now. Here's facts. Cold called yes, follow up yes. What do we start telling ourselves at that point is we're not good enough. Okay, so that's one thing we might tell ourselves. We're not good enough. What else might we tell ourselves? We might tell ourselves, has no money. I've done this before. Has no money. Oh, yeah, great. I shot this screencast out to an HVAC guy, but I don't think he really has money, right? Now, is that a fact or is that a story that we're telling ourselves? That's a story. And a lot of time that story, when I first started this process, that story sometimes would take a customer that I could land for $2,000 a month. And because I told myself a story that this guy probably doesn't have money, I had to land the guy at five to $750 a month, right? So because of these stories we tell ourselves, we drop our value. We drop, we drop what we should really feel. We don't under, we start to devalue ourselves. And this is, this is what kills us. This story right here is what kills us. And it continues to go, has no money. What else might be, might it be? Oh, um, you know, he, he wanted to meet in the afternoon and I don't really have time. So, so maybe he wants to meet in the afternoon because whatever, you know what I mean? What we can tell ourselves story. Oh, he said his wife has cancer and he needs to meet in the afternoon. So I know his wife has cancer and he has no money. Um, whatever it may be, we just tell ourselves these stories over and over and over again until we devalue ourselves so much that this sale seems impossible. But if we stay in the facts, the facts are we shot a, we cold called the screencast and got a yes. He's seen our video, it excited him and he wanted to set a meeting with us, right? That's fucking facts. That's where we need to live. The more that we can keep our brain out of the story and into the facts is the more that we're gonna grow, the more money that we're gonna make, right? So. This goes for everything, guys. We can take this all the way back. And, and a lot of you, yeah, we can sit here and talk money. We can talk sales. We can talk all that stuff. But we can go a little bit deeper here as well because this goes with everything in your life, okay? So let's go here. We can go with a, a, a story of... Um, like I already explained Joyce's story. Let's see what people are saying. Hold on a second. What's the process? Nope. That's a good thing. Facebook lives. Save this. What happened? XD. It's recorded. Yay. I love this. <laughs> Move it to where you had it. It was better. I don't know enough to do this. I don't know enough to do this. Okay. So what do you not know, Marilyn? So like, let's go, let's go back to this. Okay. So um, I, I mean, I, I want to break down somebody's story here. So let's have a story of, let's go facts. Facts is, is that you have, 
uh, you have purchased this course, right? Have purchased course. So you purchased this course, right? Another fact, students are successful. You see students like Paul Myers, Joyce, Ben, all kinds of fucking students making a ton of money, right? Landing customers left and right. That's, that's what you see. So students making money, that's a fact. But here's what you tell your, yourself. I'm not good enough. Or how about I'm not good enough? What's some other stuff that you guys might be telling yourselves right now that you're not, you're not going out there and getting it right now? I don't know. I, I'm bad at sales. I've heard that one. I'm bad at sales. Okay. I've heard that. What else have I heard? I heard, um, uh, this is too technical. This is too technical, right? I've heard that a lot. Um, I've heard, I don't have time. So let's take all those things. And if you just sat there in your brain and you said, hey, let's go through all these things I'm telling myself and see whether they are a story or whether they are a fact of what's actually happening so that we can try to displace them or put them in the right place. So let's go through each one of these. So I'm not good enough. So that's a story that probably came from your childhood, your dad yelling at you, something happening, right? But the fact is, is that you don't even have to be good enough because this system, here's a fact, system is sitting right in front of you that hundreds of other people are using and making lots of money. Paul Myers did $82,000 last month with this exact system. With the exact system that you have, right? He did $82,000. Now, if he did $82,000 with your exact system, do you think that you need to be good enough or do you think that you just need to follow along? You probably just need to follow along, right? So if that's the case, then I'm not good enough becomes irrelevant, right? Now we can go in and say, I'm bad at sales. Now this probably comes from you getting sold a car and you hating the salesman and you going, hey, I don't wanna be a salesman, I don't wanna be this, I don't wanna be that, but let's go back to facts on this again. I'm bad at sales, right? To screencast, follow up, email scripts, cold call scripts, an exact system that even if you're fucking horrible at sales, you can still follow and once again, displace the I'm not good at sales, right? Because it doesn't matter if you're good or not, if you can follow along. And I'm telling you, a fucking child can follow along, right? Same thing with technical. I hear people all the time. Hey, it's taking me forever to get a website up, da 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 I have a 12-year-old named Tommy Medina, and uh, he, he jumped in here as Danelle's little brother. He jumped in here, and his first fucking weekend had his agency site up. His first fucking weekend, okay? Um, so if he can do it, you can do it. It's not the technical, right? If this is too technical, at the end of the day, it's not. There's even, there's older people in here. I know Mark, Mark's pushing, uh, you know, late 50s. There's lots of people in here that are way older than you, and you're sitting here telling yourself that it's too technical. Well, the truth is, is that it's not too technical. It's just that you're not taking action to follow the system to displace that story that you're telling yourself. All these stories just hold us back, constantly hold us back and stop us from taking what? Stop us from taking action. And action's the only thing that, need, that, that, that you need to move forward in life, okay? So this is too technical. If you can follow a system, it's, it, it's not. How about this? I don't have time. Joyce, I hear this shit from you a lot. I don't have time. I'm at, I gotta work, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. In all reality, if, if you doing all this other stuff you're doing, like watching a fucking TV show, going out on a date, whatever the fuck it may be, if you have time to do that shit and, and you're not worried about money, great, then you just made the choice to do that. But if you're worried about money and you're worried about growth and you're worried about getting the fuck out of the situation you're in, you're always gonna make time, right? It's just a story we tell ourselves to not take action on what's needed. That's what it goes back to, okay? Um, 
Marcy, Marcy's doing really good right now. Marcy, it's good to see you in here. Um, Marcy's doing really good. She fucking came to me and she was like, listen, I'm kicking off this driver training school, doing this, doing that, doing that. And in the last 30 days, she's not only built the fucking thing, she's launched it, launched Google ads, did all this shit. And she did that in 30 days. When in, in prior, this was something in her mind. And Marcy, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think she's had this thought process in her mind to quit her job, which she already did, by the way, guys. She quit her fucking all in 30 days. Quit her job, launched a course, launched the ads, everything, okay? She did all that in 30 days, and she did that because she was ready. But she thought about it for a year, okay? She thought about it for a year. Once she got out of her stories in that year, she went and took action and did what took her a year to think about. She did it all in 30 days. She did it in 30 fucking days because she got out of her story, okay? She got out of this story that she's constantly telling herself that she's not good enough to launch it. It's going to take too much time. I don't know if the Facebook ads are going to work. I don't know if the Google ads are going to work. I don't know what keywords to target. I don't know what the website should look like. I don't know. And we can, these are all fucking stories. At the end of the day, guys, it's action that pays the bills. It's action that makes you better. It's action that grows your fucking life. And so I implore you, I implore each and every fucking one of you to get off your ass, tell your, really look at your life and say, what is a story? Is this a story I'm telling myself? Or is this an actual fact? Okay. Some of us have facts. Marilyn has fucking facts and she's in here. I don't know if you guys know about Marilyn, but she's a fucking beast. She fucking sits there. She's in a fucking uh, wheelchair right now. She's about to lose her fucking legs. Okay. But she's in here fucking grinding. She's in here working day in and day out, still getting it done. She's overcome her stories. I know if, if I was losing my legs, if I, if I had the, 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 the health of, of Marilyn right now, I would be fucking probably crying. I'd be telling myself so many fucking stories, but she's able to overcome those stories. And Marilyn right now, I think now she's making like five, six, $7,000 a month. Okay. But when she came in, that wasn't the case. The case is, is that she overcame all of these stories that most of us would tell ourselves because of our health, because our legs are getting ready to get, you know, taken from us, all that kind of stuff. And we have to be in a wheelchair. Imagine where you'd be if you were, if you were stuck in your story. If she was stuck right here, she would have never came into this course. She would have never took action and she wouldn't be making the type of money she is now living a better life than what she, what she was living in her stories, right? So she's living these facts day in and day out. And the facts are, is that Marilyn understands the process works, the system works, and that all it takes is for her to overcome her stories and continue to reach out to business owners, continue to reach out to people and land, land business. And she does it day in and day out. So that's what it takes. I mean, if, if somebody has a, an actual reason to live in those stories, it would be Marilyn in this group. But the rest of us, the rest of us are young. The rest of us have energy. The rest of us have no fucking reason to live in those stories, okay? And so I just implore you to get the fuck out of your stories. Let's take action. Let's fucking kill 2019. You guys think I was kidding when I created my vision board. I'm taking 100 of you motherfuckers to six figures. I promise you I am. If I got to pull you by the hair, I will, okay? So whatever one of you are, are willing and able and ready to overcome your stories, to live in these facts, and to grow a fucking business, quit your job, and be ready to take on 2019, hit me up. I'm here all day. I'm ready to Zoom with any one of you motherfuckers. Let's go. Kill it.